Hello everyone. Today I'm on uh, Forge 4130, which is modded Minecraft, and I will show you my current world, which is mine in Morbid to Minecraft 1.18.2, the newest version, and probably one of the last uh, new versions that I will play. Why? Because there is much less mod support and Minecraft simply gets worse. Oh, there is a monster. I hear a skeleton somewhere. And first off, I will show you the new features of the mod. Skeleton. Okay, let the Minecraft render in, Mr. Skeleton. Ah, which social interactions? Oh, that shortcut for the map. I think there are some more. There are bosses if we proceed further. Yes, it lags for me too a little bit. Because there is a lot of chunk broken with the other mod, Ring of the Miner. So let's hide all the cobblestone in the backpack mod. Which can stack in itself, which is really a good, useful feature. And the satisfying collection of all blocks is really nice. There was a monster somewhere. Mark the middle with a torch. Okay. Hide some stuff, then hide the full backpack in the black backpack. Then get another backpack, take a backpack out of a backpack. <laughs> it gets ridiculous pretty quickly. But there is a lot of time to not lose the cobblestone we mine here. Because all of that cobblestone goes to the cobblestone area that I built specifically to storage the cobble, to store the cobble. Let's mark the middle with the torch again, just so it is easier for the ring of the miner to work. And I'm searching for that boss that I saw somewhere. Mark the middle again. And... Wrong backpack. Okay, this. I always hide it. The cobble and other useless stuff in this backpack. The pricey stuff goes to black backpack. Oh, gold. Okay. Mark the middle again. And let's go. Ring of the Miner is such a useful feature. That lets you mine tunnels like these without any effort. That's why I'm staying on these versions for longer than Mojang releases them. Plus, Minecraft will soon fall, sadly enough. It lived for 10 or even 13 years. Ah, <sighs> Sag. Because of the new update where 
Minecraft will arbitrarily decide you to decide to ban you whenever they want. Of course they will excuse it with some bullshit rule breaking, but server administrators already moderated their servers, don't you think? And the Goblin Trader only fixes my anvil slightly and gets me a disc. This one is useless. So let's get the apples out of him. Apples are really useful. And as you can see I duped enchanted golden apples already on this world. However, I haven't gotten them apples on the skyblock yet. Let's do it like... Oh! Yeah, I guess. It's the middle. Let's mark the middle again and deposit everything into the backpack. And the lava can be mined from under us. What am I searching for is the boss monster. Ooh. I see a boss monster to the right in the minimap. Yes, it's another mod that adds me a good fucking minimap. And we will venture to kill that boss monster today as the first showcase of my base. Oh, there is much more boss monsters than I originally expected. First boss. How strong is my sword? Ah yeah, unlimited enchantments. Come with this mod that adds bosses. Unbreakable, 6 attack damage, sharpness, fire aspect, sweeping, looting, 255. So let's hide the large backpack and do the backpack unpacking. Backpack unpacking again. And good. John Blowing's percent of great fortune. A fix apotosis sifting desk. Unbreaking 7 Silk, 1 Efficiency 6, Minecraft Golden Pickaxe, uh, not even unbreakable, let's hide it, and the Golden Armor too, because we want something like this, that I renamed already, Protection CXXVII Depth Rider 10, Better falling huge, mending 9, unbreaking huge, plus 1 armor and originally it rolled me a 500% speed, which is insane to move and that's why we go so far out. Let's collect everything else. Oh wait, I missed it by one, fuck. Fuck, I mismarked. And this little wall will bother me. Unless... I'll do this and I'll be happy again. There is a boss monster there, so let's go. 
Let's just hide the some cobblestone. Oh shit, wrong backpack. It was supposed to go to brown backpack. Granite, diorite, dirt, cobblestone out. I don't wear my boots because their speed is insane. And they would m make me fall instantly into the lava. Even though I am partially immortal to everything because of this mod. And it is kinda fun that if you can if you play long you get to be immortal against everything else. Ah uh, yeah. He must be under the lava. Mother okay. Or maybe not. Oh, there is another boss here. Henderson. Bitter in the honest. Two bosses for now. Let's hide their unenchanted armor and the rotten flesh inside the brown backpack and their shields. Okay, and Iron Ingot. Henderson's blood seeking Auric Long Sword of the Moon, Fire 2, Sweeping Edge 5. Up. Uh, always Creed. That's a good thing. Sifting. Enchantment. And here. Ooh, plus 8 max health. Unbreaking 7 feather. 10, Mending 2, Prod 6. I can just arrange on this. This will be good, so I hide it here. 500% speed, though, I will always use. So let's uh, Zantetsuken through this. To the next boss. Oh boy. Where is the man build a feeble that I'm standing on top of? Sandy the Cracked. Hmm. Hide this backpack. Get another backpack out. Kill a creeper meanwhile. And hide another stuff in the backpack. Okay, now to search where the heck these boss monsters are. Hmm. 
I don't see this guy. So maybe dig straight down. Die. Um, where am I? I guess it's a deep cave where no boss surrenders. Anyways, let's move back to our waypoints. Um, mob boss frontier battle base. Yes, I spawned some golems here and there. I shown you first the mod, now I will show you my base. As promised. That's how I played when I wasn't even recording the Minecraft playthroughs. So this is my normal base and so on. And this is the base that I built. Yes, the infinite sugar cane is from the mod. It reaches hate limit. And I built this for the Christmas. This staircase like thingy will be uh, decorated as a Christmas tree on the next Christmas. And this is my newest stuff that I will soon finish, sooner or later finish into a small castle. And this is the area where I hide my cobblestone stuff. And it is meant to be like a tower as you see here, connected with a single hopper. Double chests, of course. So there is endless storage of uh, cobblestone here. With this much chests, and these chests reach height limit too. And there will be some sort of port here, so I can always go for the sea adventures and install some sea mods too. I like the speed, it's particularly decent for me. And as you can see here, I did some manual farms. Hey Chunk, render please, thank you. And all of them are uh, hidden with this uh, passage, passage thingy here, that you need to open two doors in case something happens, and they are proved against wandering traders too. These things are melon and pumpkin storage thingies. Storage thingies, I mean auto farms. Let's turn off the ring of attractions so that the will not be properly down to the chest below. And the main card that Hopper always collects them properly. It's pretty easy setup. Though complicated enough so VTubers can't replicate it. <laughs> Just kidding, some VTubers aren't dumb. Of course, there was some... You see this snow bar... Mi snow mini chunk here? When I was on Minecraft 1.16.4, I installed snow mode, or rather biome mode, mod, so I can make snow golem farm. But the snow golems resulted even in this biome. So I guess I needed to find the natural snow biome, so the snow golems won't melt. And here is the cactus auto farm, however, 
I made it connect to a lava below because this uh, cactus auto farm is too potent. It's literally too potent for me. It's literally this tower going upwards. Let me show you what is inside this tower. It is this small setup and the cactuses are flying straight down. Ah, <sighs> the chicken. And it is made all the way to the top. It is simplest cactus farm. And these platforms where I can stand on are actually destroying these cactuses. That's why it's so easy to farm them with some water movement. See, the cactus instantly broke once it grew. Now, using the spawner mode, I made wandering trader farm here. What the fuck is burning? I don't even know. What the fuck was burning here? But I can also show you my villager farm. See how many emeralds? It is endless. And I also get the indicator spawners too. And the minus banners. This large backpack I presume is full of those things. Let me see. Oh, there is a lot of emeralds here already, and axes. 64 Vindicator spawn eggs. And I don't really know why I have such weird attack speed on some of my tools, like 996 attack speed. Oh! Ring of Attraction active. Back again. Holy shit. I need to take this backpack out. So many iron axes. Oh gosh. What the heck? They are spawning so quickly, oh, OMG. I think I need another backpack for them. So let me take out another one. Oh, 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 oh. Now let me take those emeralds out and hide them inside this backpack. Those backpacks are really useful for the storage. And without this backpack mode, I don't do any version upwards. It would be so sad, a minus banner, a minus banner. Vindicator spawn eggs. Okay, I need to turn off the ring of attraction again. The farm is too potent again. Okay, I've shown you my 
owner area and this is my initial base and there was also a base under construction somewhere and some farms under construction oh I need to show you my fa other farm this is the cow pen that I constructed it's pretty nice if I say it so my myself all of the cows have nice uh, shelter place to live in. It looks more like a jail. It's a cow pen, honestly. So you don't need to bother with anything. And it's quite nice, if I say so myself, of course, for the cows. Because as the place to live, there will be some other places. That will be decorated nicely. And here is the huge place that I emptied out. Of course for the other farms. Like a chicken farm? Nah. Pig and sheep farm. Pig farm here. And sheep farm around here where there is lots of grass. And that big area may be my home. And yes, I used crying obsidian cars. Enderman took uh, my planks, pails. So I had nothing else besides crying obsidian to fix it with. So. Let's show you another base. Uh, pumpkin, doggo zone, and here. Nine base, teleport. Um, teleport. Teleport. Thank you very much. This is the area that I wanted to build my base inside. This empty area. It's close honestly to everything, to new sources of wood, to a big mountain here, to with all the snow I can want. Wait, is this backpack? Yes, it's emerald backpack, whatever. Let's hide this backpack. Inside the bigger black backpack. Better black backpack, I mean. And yeah, I try to equalize this area a bit. Including all, removing all this grass here. And I made a little shelter here. However, the snow golems arbitrarily decided to die. So there is no snow golem farm, sadly enough. Ah, uh, pain. I will need to reconstruct this and hide it from the snow. Pain. And yes, I added a little bit of levels here, because with this mod, unlimited enchantments on a tool, the costs go as high up as to few thousand levels, or even 60,000 levels, if you are unlucky enough. So I had to add this much levels for the comfort of my gameplay. So that's pretty much. Oh, see, see, I even made a second sheep farm here. So all the sheepies will be happy. Uh, 
and I highlighted the with the torches so nothing will spawn here too. And that's pretty much it I believe from the tour. Across all the world. Oh. Ah yes, I explored the nether too. After all, I got some netherite stuff to own. One snipe is enough to get it done. Home spot teleport. This was my original place that I spawned in. Pretty shitty biome, not gonna lie. Ugh, disgusting biome. Yeah, I spawned in the most disgusting biome filled with magma. Thingy, so I had to simply get rid of all the enemies by spawning some iron golems in. And yes, this here is a thing that flies if you ride it properly. And it flies endlessly, dropping duping TNT and bombarding all the stuff on the ground. Basically a bomber run contraption that I learned to build somewhere. See, these magma creams are so fucking annoying. Because they always go into smaller forms and it's pretty fucking annoying. So giving the iron golem treatment to defend my area is pretty good idea. We need to spawn more iron golems though. And I remember this place with the redstone torches here was the place that I used to fly across the lava using that redstone contraption that you can also build in vanilla. So let's go back to the normal place. Loading terrain. And we are inside the huge mine that I built. Pretty easy to move through, right? With all the speed and stuff. Let's go to the front here and see how it looks like. I love the speed, man. It's as fast as the chunk rendering. I need to sometimes pause so the chunks can render. But you see how fast I move through the blocks. Because of this F value. And yes, this tunnel is reaching so far and I stopped mining even diamonds, redstone and other things because I can just duplicate them. Like these diamonds there. Let's move through here. Let's not bother with a skeleton because he is boring.
and last use of the ring of the miner for today. GG Oh, Lazulite Lazulite Oh, I need this Ender Chest back I even got zombified piglin spawning. And GG. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you had a fantastic day. And hope to see you in the next videos of mine. Bye bye. Don't forget to upload, comment and subscribe too. Bye bye.